They call themselves Gators because, like the reptiles they're named for, the Navy's amphibious fleet is at home on land and at sea. Tonight, we continue our series on this unique capability of the U.S. Navy. Tony Assad's military reporter Art Khan tells us how it benefits both the nation and the world. Come right to your course 119. Come right to your course 119. All right. This is a scene familiar to a sailor of any nation's fleet, but there are two aspects of the United States Navy that set it apart from the rest of the world. That's carrier aviation and our amphibious capability. I would describe the amphibious fleet really as a force multiplier. That's because ships like the USS Gunston Hall have the ability to deploy and recover any number of vessels from ship to shore. The LCAC is a hovercraft that literally flies just above the water or beach on a cushion of air. Hydraulically, uh, these valves are all open allowing the ship to sink just enough to fill the well deck with enough water to recover a small boat known as an LCU. Overline 4! Which carries another amphibious craft that goes well beyond the concept of an all-terrain vehicle. We are uh, in charge of uh, transferring uh, troops from ship to shore, uh, equipment. The ability to deploy so many different kinds of vehicles able to travel by sea and land gives the Navy incredible flexibility. They're available to respond in a wide range of issues, whether it's non-combatant evacuations, humanitarian assistance. The Gunston Hall was the first vessel to respond to the crisis in Haiti when that nation was rocked by a massive earthquake, sending equipment and relief supplies to shore around the clock. When we did uh, the Haiti operation a few months ago, um, we probably ballasted and deballasted six or eight times a day. The Gunston Hall can also provide a platform for helicopters to carry Marines and soldiers, making the ship not only valuable to relief efforts, but the national defense as well. The fact that the United States Navy has the most robust amphibious capability in the world presents a unique challenge to anyone who would be our adversary. Making the Gunston Hall an integral part of what the Navy calls a global force for good. Aboard the USS Gunston Hall off the Virginia coast, Art Khan, 10 on your side. The USS Gunston Hall is named for the home of George Mason, who wrote the Virginia Declaration of Rights in 1776 and was a consultant to the framers of the U.S. Constitution.